GNS has released extraordinary footage today showing the extent of the Kaikoura coastline and its change since last week's 7.8. The New Zealand-based geoscience research company sent a drone over the Kekerengu Fault and the Papatea Fault, which showed in some areas the Earth has shifted by as much as 9 metres. It's a belter of a quake. GNS scientist Kelvin Berryman, who's so uh, good with the media, um, who we spoke with earlier in the program, of course, was there. And if you're watching, his pictures are a sight to behold. We're standing here in the Papatea Fault, a few kilometres south of the uh, Clarence River Bridge on the Kaikoura Coast. Looking here at the actually the fault plane, the plane of movement along the fault itself, where uh, this side here has moved up by about a metre and a half and uh, we can see the back gravels here and the gravels on that side. But what's really interesting is that we can see lines of movement here on this fault plane where, which are moving down a little bit in this fashion. And that means we can see it looks impressive that we're standing here a metre and a half high, but in fact most of the movement has been along a plane something like this. So this side here has moved forwards by, by many, many metres. These fault scarps form very, very quickly. And we know from earthquake physics that probably this fault scarp ruptured across here at a speed of about three kilometres a second. So this has uplifted a very large area of new reef here. And the locals here describe not the earthquake noise, but the noise of water running off the top of this uplifted platform here. They said that the noise was just horrendous. And on, this, on the downthrown side of the fault, it's actually still even come up by about one and a half metres. On the other side, there's as much as six metres of uplift. So, I asked Kelvin Berryman if he'd ever seen coastal uplift like this in New Zealand. Not in New Zealand, no. Um, we've seen in overseas places similar sorts of things uh, uh, occur. The Papatea Fault is very spectacular, but it turns out to be a little corner where two of the main faults have sort of uh, wrestled with one, one another, perhaps, and we're seeing this pop up with quite extraordinary amounts of movement. But it, the, the bigger, mo well, just as big a movement, but sideways has occurred just a little bit to the north on the Kekarangu Fault, which is about 10 metres sideways. So this is very spectacular because you see it with your eye and it's very... Uh, it's very noticeable, but um, yeah, on the Kekarangu Fault goes for much further and, and has contributed much more to the earthquake energy than this little Papatea Fault. But it is a, just a beautiful example of faulting with such a nice clean fault plane and you can really see you know, the Earth's processes in action right, right in front of your eyes.